In this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on Stan Lee's favorite superhero and one of mine as well, the Silver Surfer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on the Silver Surfer. Now, if you're new to my channel or the series, what I typically do with key comic book spotlight is take a notable superhero or supervillain and just point out five key and or grail comic books that the comic book collecting community often pursues when they're fans of this character. And in this one, we're doing Silver Surfer. But before I get into the picks for today, if you guys could drop me a like or comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, do one of those things, and I would appreciate it. All right, that said, we're doing Silver Surfer for today and this is a video I've been very very excited to do because Silver Surfer is in my top three favorite characters of all time. He is one of the characters that uh, I grew up reading. I was first introduced to him uh, at a young age you know in the early early 90s and he's been a character that I've loved for many many years. So uh, there's a lot of great Silver Surfer books that I'm excited to talk about in this video here and I guess you know we got to start things off by talking about his first appearance. So lo and behold my first pick for Silver Surfer is actually going to be the trifecta of books as people often refer them to. Uh, yes, it is his first appearance, but it's also going to be his second and third appearance as well. But we're going to start with the first appearance. The first appearance, of course, is Fantastic Four, number 48, first appearance of Silver Surfer, and the first cameo appearance of Galactus. And this, of course, is just one of the all-time classic collector's books when it comes to, you know, fans of Marvel comic books. And I totally understand because, you know, the Silver Surfer, I feel like, has everything going for him as far as, like, character design, the way that, it, like, he, he has his backstory as it relates to Galactus, like the torment that he goes to, through, the existential crisis that he's always dealing with, like, you know, uh, being this cosmic being and having like a, a feeling like a, a debt that he has to repay for all the worlds that he led Galactus to. This book right here, of course, was written by Stan Lee and drawn by Jack Kirby in 1966. This was the Fantastic Four run, the legendary Fantastic Four run. And this was just a great, great trilogy of books that Stan Lee and Jack Kirby would put together when they introduced uh, Galactus and the Silver Surfer. This one right here, of course, uh, we got the first introduction to Silver Surfer in epic fashion, you know, very, uh, you know, uh, poetic and how Stan Lee would describe uh, the Silver Surfer as he soared through, you know, these beautifully drawn, trippy Jack Kirby space aesthetics. This would be uh, one of the first book that we would get the Silver Surfer appearance in. At the end of the book, we get the cameo appearance, and then we would move on to Fantastic Four number 49. This would be the second appearance of the Silver Surfer, but but also the Silver Surfer's first cover appearance. Also, kind of an interesting point with this book right here is that this is actually the first time that Silver Surfer would actually say a line. You know, in the previous book, uh, we do get his first appearances, uh, but there's a lot of like uh, uh, prose that is being said every time we see the Silver Surfer. There's other characters that are interacting with him but he didn't actually open his mouth and start talking until this book right here. And of course, the Trinity of Book, the third book I'm talking about here is Fantastic Four, number 50, uh, the third appearance of uh, the Silver Surfer, but of course, 48, 49, and 50 kind of feels like you need all of them if you are gonna be like the super fan and collect all the Silver Surfer first appearances. And this book is also very cool. It's a classic cover, of course, again, done by Jack Kirby. And also this is the turn of, you know, the Silver Surfer where he actually kind of, you know, goes up against Galactic Galactus and becomes like the hero saving Earth from his master. And as a result of it, Galactus leaves the Earth, but curses the Silver Surfer so that he is now trapped on Earth. And that would be our introduction into this character and setting up his solo stories later on down the line. But of course, Silver Surfer is such a popular character. You know that this book is going to have some pretty high values overall. So let's just take a look here at the fair market values for the Fantastic Four 48. This is, the, of course, the official first appearance of the Silver Surfer. We see 9.8 selling fair market value around the $115,000 range. Last sale back in June of 2020. It'll be so interesting to see what this book commands. You know, once we get Silver Surfer into the MCU, of course, Silver Surfer uh, and Galactus and all the Fantastic Four stuff has recently been acquired by Disney. So we know we're going to get some version of them in the future. And then down here at the bottom, you know, even at the low end, you're seeing 1.0's fair market value around the $1,000 range or so. But again, this is a book that is in such high demand. You'd be hard pressed to be able to find numbers like that, even at the low range. I see this book, generally speaking, going for you know the $2,000 range all the time, even at the lowest grades uh, you can find. And then Fantastic 459, very quickly, we'll look at the 9.8's. Actually, there are no 9.8's uh, here on the census, but there is a 9.6 selling fair market value around the $29,000 range, last sale back in July of 2020. 
And then down here at the bottom, again, another book that, you know, GoCollect has this at the $230 range, but when I go into eBay, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find this book for less than $500 or so. And then lastly here, of course, Fantastic 450, looking at the GoCollect numbers here now, 9.8 has this fair market value around the $210,000 range. I don't know if that's an anomaly number because of the fact that, uh, you know, maybe there's uh, so few copies that exist, but you know, if we look at this 9.6, this is probably more accurate, $29,000 last sale back in April of 2021. And then down here at the bottom, a book that, you know, has definitely been heating up recently um, because of the fact that everyone's getting priced out of 48 and 49, but this is a book that I would say you'd be hard pressed to find for less than $200 or so. Um, but I see it pushing 300, uh, you know, around that sort of VG, VG minus range. We're gonna continue to talk about key Silver Surfer comics in a second, but before we do, let's take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Nine Panel. Now there's a new place to find key comic books online and it's called ninepanel.com. So maybe you see a video like this, you get excited for Silver Surfer and you wanna go hunting for some back issues, well definitely go check out this website. Nine Panel is a marketplace, which means all the books listed on this site are from different comic book sellers and local comic shops from all over the US. It's easy to search for key books and buy from as many shops as you want in a single secure checkout. And if you want to sell books, you can do that too. Nine Panel lets you create a custom branded shop page, set up your own policies, and list as many books as you want for free. The site has a really nice modern design that I think you guys are going to like. So go check out ninepanel.com and start buying and selling today. All right, let's go on out to my next pick here. My next pick is actually going to be The Silver Surfer, number one, written by Stan Lee and drawn by John Buscema. This is a book, of course, that came out in 1968. It's got that big premiere issue, which, of course, a lot of the books in 1968 would have this big premiere issue because they would launch these characters into their own titled series and they would do the same for Silver Surfer here, which of course this means that this is his first solo series. This is the first time you're going to see the Silver Surfer right there in the title and this is just an awesome book to have. I mean, there's a lot of things still going for this. Even though this isn't the Silver Surfer's first appearance, it is his first solo ongoing series. It is the origin of the Silver Surfer character. It is also the origin of the Watchers, you know, a very, very important group of characters as they relate to the Silver Surfer character. It is also the first appearance of Shalaba. Now Shalaba, of course, is the love interest of the Silver Surfer, and she plays a pivotal role in the mythos and the origin of the Silver Surfer Norinrad character. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see that there are 9.8 selling fair market value, one sale around the $100,000 range. Of course, that would be fair market value here today, but the last sale was back in November of 2017. Here we see 9.6s, last sale back in December of 2020, around the $21,000 range, and then a 9.4 kind of recently sold around the April uh, 2021 mark for 13,500. And then down here at the bottom, of course, Go Collect has this listed at the 300 to 280 you know, range or so. But this is a book that has been really, really heating up. Again, kind of like FF 48 and 49. Once you get priced out of those books, you go, you go on to the next best thing. And for a lot of people, this is the next best thing. So I would say you'd be pretty hard pressed to find this book for less than $450, $500 or so, you know, even at the low grade. All right, let's go on out to my next pick here. My next pick is a little bit of a cheat because I had to pick four picks for my next pick. And why did I do that? Well, that's because I'm making my third pick Silver Age Silver Surfer covers because there are so many incredible Silver Surfer covers. He has some of the best covers in all of the characters amongst the Silver Age. And I had to highlight a bunch of books that people always go for when they're fans of the character. Of course, the number one book I think is the most premier cover of all comic books. I mean, you can make the argument that this is the greatest cover in all of Marvel comic books. This, of course, is Silver Surfer number four. There you see the John Buscema cover Silver Surfer versus Thor right there. We see the rainbow bridge. We see them flying in space. And this is just an epic book for that reason. But of course, this isn't the only amazing cover amongst Silver Surfer covers. We have Fantastic Four number 55, another Stan Lee, Jack Kirby book here. And this would actually be the fourth appearance of the Silver Surfer character. Of course, we're, if we're looking at the numbers, it was 48, 49, and 50. The Fantastic Four would go on to have a few more books and then they would bring back the Silver Surfer here right in... Uh, uh, number 55, uh, a great Silver Surfer cover, him going up against the thing right there. And then going on to another great cover uh, in this run, it would be Fantastic Four number 72, again, Stanley and Jack Kirby. This is just a classic Silver Surfer cover. I mean, people love this thing. There's no necessarily a specific significance with regards to this particular issue.
you, but just another great cover that people love to collect for this character. Additionally, you got to point out Tales to Astonish number 93, the Silver Surfer Hulk cover uh, drawn by Marie Severin, a legendary female comic book creator. Uh, so this is just another amazing cover. Of course, this book was written by Roy Thomas, but another 1967 Silver Age classic Silver Surfer cover. And quickly, uh, as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see Silver Surfer number four selling fair market value 9.8 range around the $90,000 range last sale in June of 2021. And then down here at the bottom, again, Go Collect has this listed around the $350 range or so, but this is a hot book, man. Everybody wants to get their hands on this cover. So you would be hard pressed to find this for less than $450 or $500 or so. And then with Fantastic 455, a much more affordable book overall, 9.8 selling around the $18,000 range. And then down here at the bottom, you know, Go Collect has this around 50, but yeah, when you go onto eBay, you can find this book for around the 50, 60, 70, range or so, depending on the deal, depending on the grade. Similarly, Tales to Astonish 93, uh, fair market value 12,500 at the 9.8 range. And then I don't need to scroll down to the bottom. I will just tell you that on eBay, typically speaking, when you look for this book, you can find deals around the 100 to $125 range or so. And then lastly, Fantastic Four number 72 sells around that 70, $80 range or so. All right, let's go on out to my fourth pick here. My fourth pick is actually gonna be Silver Surfer number one from 1987, written by Steve Englehart and drawn by Marshall Rogers. And this would be the volume three iteration of the Silver Surfer run. This would be the legendary run that would be eventually taken over by Jim Starlin and would lead to the Infinity Gauntlet series. And a personal favorite run of mine because I myself collected this when I was a kid. But this book right here, I think is actually a very, very underappreciated Silver Surfer book. Now, granted, there might be a lot of copies of this thing that's not a hard book to find, but Steve Englehart's run, in my opinion, on the Silver Surfer, uh, this first like 25 issues or so, is some of the best Silver Surfer storytelling there is in all comic books, which is you know surprising to say because a lot of people love what Stanley did with the character. A lot of people talk about you know Jim Starlin's run on the Cosmic Marvel Universe, but this particular section of books I think really captures the Silver Surfer in a way that had not yet been captured in comic books. And one of the reasons for that is that this is when we finally got to see the Silver Surfer fly out into space and just go on adventures, like you know in the different different parts of the galaxy because previously Silver Surfer had been banished to Earth and spent a lot of his time on the surface. Finally, Reed Richards was able to help him break free from the barrier that Galactus put on Earth, his prison cell. And then finally, we got this book right here where Silver Surfer would go out into the universe and go on many, many, many glorious adventures. And I feel like Steve Englehart really captured sort of the existential themes that I feel like is rich within the Silver Surfer character. And for that reason, I highly recommend this book as a not only just a great sort of collector book, but a great story to read if you are a fan of the Silver Surfer character. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see that there are 9.8 selling fair market value around the $190 range or so. And then of course, because this is a 1987 book, you're not gonna see this slabbed here at the bottom. But typically speaking, when you go onto eBay, you can easily find this book for raw copies around the you know 10 to $15 range or so. All right, let's go on out to my last pick here. My my last pick is actually another book that comes from this run, except this time it is going to be written by Jim Starlin and drawn by Ron Lim. And what book is that? That is Silver Surfer number 50, the milestone issue, the anniversary 50th issue spectacular. Now of all the great Silver Surfer books, why do I specifically highlight this one? Well, there's a few reasons for that. Number one, I think that this is just a classic cover, whether that's classic in a good way or classic in a dubious way, I'll let you guys decide that. But overall, this is a classic cover regardless. This is one that everybody has seen. Everybody knows about, you know, the kind of foil cover with Silver Surfer here, his 50th issue. There were many, many printings of this. There are actually some printings of this that have some errors on it. A lot of people pay premiums for those, those errors. So for that reason alone, I think that this is a great book simply because of sort of that 90s gimmick cover. Of course, this is another book that I think is great because it is being written by Jim Starlin. This, of course, is a book within context to when Jim Starlin took over the Silver Surfer run. I also like the fact that it has Silver Surfer and Thanos on the cover. I think these characters, you know, have a great relationship together within comic books and comic book history. But most importantly, why I feel like this book is especially, especially significant within context to the Silver Surfer character is that after this book, this would be the book that sets up the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. This was the one that led to the events of Infinity Gauntlet. In fact, this book picks up right when Thanos has, has gathered 
gathered all in the the Infinity Stones. You know, he just completed his Thanos quest and he really, really shows off his power for the very first time. This is an absolutely great read. I highly recommend that you guys go check out this book. You know, if you have it or if you have Marvel Unlimited, definitely, definitely worth a read, a great storyline. And then at the very end of this book, why I think this one is so cool is that this has that now iconic panel of Silver Surfer hurling through space, flying straight into the Sanctum Centaurum and crashing in front of Doctor Strange, which of course would lead to Infinity Gauntlet number one. So I feel like Silver Surfer 50 is a significant book within context to the history of it setting up the Infinity Gauntlet storyline and also being, you know, a great 90s gimmick cover. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see that there are 9.8 selling fair market value around the $90 range or so. And of course, because this is a you know 90s book, you're not gonna see it slabbed at the low grade. But typically speaking, this is not an expensive book at all. You can find this on eBay selling around the you know $10 range, $15 range or so. Of course, if you get you know different printings or you find the error variants, uh, those can command a premium around the $100 range or so. But if we're talking about the first print, the regular cover, you can find this easily, probably even in your LCS. Well, that is all I have for this video. Those were my five picks for key comic book spotlight for the Silver Surfer character. Again, Silver Surfer to me is one of my all-time favorite characters. I love like his design. I love, you know, the adventures he's go he goes on. I love Cosmic Marvel. I love the theme and the thematics that he has to wrestle with, you know, from nihilism to existentialism to absurdism. You know, it's a, if you're into philosophy and those types of themes, Silver Surfer is definitely a character that you will absolutely love. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Let me know if you guys have other Silver Surfer books that you think are worth collecting. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I will see you in the next video.